What's going on guys? We are back again with another Madden 18 video and today we're finally going to be spending some coins. The market really isn't down that much honestly, but I'm tired of really not playing the game. It's been a while so I just want to get my team back and actually, you know, enjoy the game. Actually play it right and things like that. But um, there's some players that are kind of a little cheaper than before so I'm just, I'm, I'm ready, ready to pull the trigger on them. But um, my offense is already purchased. Uh, I showed you guys in one of the videos that I did buy my liner that I need. I don't, really, I don't really want to upgrade anything too much on offense considering it's decent enough to where I feel like I don't need to upgrade too many positions. The only one that's obviously I, I need to get a tight end. That's the only one I need to get a tight end. And then right tackle. I got a not, uh, an optional one right there, but I don't know if I'm going to upgrade him. Um, but probably not. 87 right tackle, non optional. I kind of want to use it as much as I can because uh, 87 is pretty high to upgrade still. But for sure, the Zacherts, I need, uh, I need to get. I need to downgrade that one probably down to like tight end number three i want to get the evan ingram for tight end number two and honestly i want to see if we can save enough coins to get like a really expensive tight end i'm not sure but we'll see how it's gonna go but this on defense is where we're really looking towards upgrading because my defense is horrible right now i have nothing i just been using this lineup for like solo challenges and things like that um the new jason taylor is out it looks pretty good honestly he uh, i don't know how good his uh, legend card is gonna be but his 90 overall almost has nine uh, i think it's at 90 finesse moves I'm not sure, but um, anyway, so obviously free safety, uh, right out to the linebacker, we're not going to worry about. I'm going to get uh, just a kind of like a filler card to put there because um, I am going to play Zach Brown at right out to the linebacker and then play um, uh, Anthony Barr at middle linebacker to user. And then my left out to the linebacker, I am going to buy, um, I'm going to buy Papa Sosa. That's the only one I'm for sure that I'm going to get is that 91 overall Paul. But um yeah because i was using his regular card in a draft champions video i just made that's probably gonna come out soon and um so i liked it a lot that was 87 overall so i think the 90 overall will be even better so i'm gonna try and get that card i should be able to get it i think it's only going for about 300k right now so not too much for a 91 overall with 91 zone coverage um so we're gonna go ahead and put zach brown right here back down to middle linebacker number two so that we'll have some high overalls right here at 90 and 89 for the middle linebackers. If we do need to um, get a better chemistry, then we will probably downgrade Zach Brown to t um, middle linebacker number three and uh, bring somebody in at middle linebacker number two to put in some better chemistry into the team if we need it. Though. I'm not sure if we're going to need it. But uh, so first we are going to buy... Our 2D tackles, because I already know who we're going to get. Geno Atkins, Minjo Green, the 86 overall. And then our left outside linebacker, um, Paul Puzzle. And we're going to get those three, because those are the only three that I know for sure that I want. Um, we need one more corner. I only run, I never really run nickel, so my cornerback number three is really just there for chemistry. Whatever one it's going to be. And um, I will either want to get Rod Woodson or Richard Sherman. I'm not sure which one I'm going to get. I had Rod Woodson before. He was pretty good. But that Richard Sherman does have 91 zone, and his price is kind of low right now because the new uh, Randy Moss that came out. So I'm debating on whether or not I'm gonna which one I'm gonna get. So it's between Richard Sherman, Rod Woodson, uh, and then a cornerback number three is gonna be the same as whichever one we have here: Champ Bailey or Stephon Gilmore. Doesn't really matter. Um, and then on uh, D tackle, I showed you guys already. Right end, I'm not sure. Left end, I think I might go with the out of position player, honestly, because there's not that many options that I like that are decently priced it's either like really cheap and decent like they're okay players or really really expensive players that's all what i found that i want to get at least um right end, i might just go back to the same calais campbell and then on strong safety um that's another hard decision too so we'll see what we're gonna work with honestly um so i'll be right back after we get the uh for sure um d tackles and uh linebacker that we're gonna get oh i am actually making this part the next day actually the part the first part i recorded was yesterday so it's now the day after Saturday. Um, my first buy is gonna be right here, 195 Juno Atkins. Uh, yesterday I was about to, and then um, I got a notification on my phone that you said that um, about all the new legends and stuff like that. So I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and wait. Even Juno Atkins yesterday was going for like 230k. So I mean, I yeah, I didn't want to spend that. So I just waited, and now we just got our first Juno Atkins right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get a uh, 48 thousand coin mean joe green and yesterday it showed him going for like 70k too so i don't know just like 60k right there saved i mean that's better than nothing it's obviously not or mean joe green is probably not gonna get any cheaper than that 86 overall um and he's a pretty good card 
So um, let's go ahead and put our DT1 in there, which is uh, Juno Atkins. Get us up to 86 overall. Mean Joe Green, replace him with a better Mean Joe Green with a 92 play rec. Um, so I think what I want to do is I'm, I might buy the 90 Jason Taylor, put it here. And then I think I want to buy Charles Haley for my left end because Charles Haley is actually a really good card. I, I never used it before. I always wanted to, but I don't run a 3-4. So I kind of want to just put him out of position because I don't really worry too much about the chemistry on the left end. All I worry about really is like, um, just like one tier read and react, which I need for Paul Krause, which I still want to get. And I probably am going to get him today. He dropped down a little bit. He's finally like actually on the market for about 320K. I saw one yesterday for 290 and I didn't buy it. Uh, and I was just, I don't know why, but, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and look at uh, our right ends and left ends. So I am going to pick up this 89 Paul Krause right here, 299K. Uh, finally got him back for a little bit cheaper. Um, so yeah, 299K for Paul Krause. Not bad. I did also pick up uh, the right end. Um, like I said, Jason Taylor. I picked up the 90 overall. His 90 finesse moves and pretty good, decent block shed. And he's only like 200K, so I thought I'd pick him up. So we finally got Paul Krause back in the team. Right here, 89 overall Paul Cross. So he's ready in the lineup, so I need to remove the other one, which is right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in 89 Paul Krause right there. And we went up to 88 overall with 1.7 million basically left still. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so 89 Paul Krause right there, finally back in the team. There is the strong safety Ed Reed, the 90 overall one, that 91 overall, I think it is. Not the full legend. It is looks absolutely insane. It's a uh, 91 speed, 90 play rack, 90 zone coverage. Looks just crazy with the rhythm rack chemistry as well. So um yeah, so here's the Jason Taylor. Uh, it's the same as the Twitch Prime, 82 speed, 90 finesse move, 92 play rack, uh, 86 block shed, which is pretty decent. And yeah, so he's pretty fast, two and tall, so that's pretty uh solid. Um and then so we just need to buy. Our right outside linebacker, which is going to be like kind of just a filler position, like I had told you guys previously, and then also um, our left outside linebacker, which is probably it's going to be Paul Puslesny, and then we still need a left end. So uh, let's go ahead and look at some of those options. So putting in our uh, player J here, right outside linebacker, we're going to go and put in this Derek Brooks. Uh, does he go up to 88 overall? He does, so that's nice. And then uh, left end. We're going to go ahead and put Joey Bosa in right there. Hopefully, these two cards do good, Joey Bosa and uh, this Jason Taylor. If not, we can always uh, um, change them. I obviously don't know how this Jason Taylor is going to play. This Joey Bosa, I've heard it plays decent because of the 91 finesse moves that it has. Um, but, yeah, so, so far, we have, yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. Um, depending on the coins, I might upgrade this D-Tackle, actually. I might upgrade him up to actually 90, even though I know we just bought him, but I might upgrade him to the 89 or 90 overall. And then on offense, is, I already don't need to upgrade anything, just tight end, maybe right tackle. And if, I don't know, sometimes I kind of want to trade this Amari Cooper. I like Jerry Rice. He's really good, so I don't want to trade him either because he's my GOAT, and I think he's pretty good still for what he actually is. Um, but on defense, for sure, we, we want to get Pop I've already said that before multiple times. And um, what's the zone coverage on this uh, Derek Brooks? Because I'm not even um, sure if this uh, Zach Brown is even higher zone coverage than him. Which he, I'm pretty sure he has. Yeah, 82 to 86. So, yeah, there's a difference there. So, I am going to still be using Zach Brown to the outside. I think Zach Brown is just a little bit slower. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, 86 speed to 83 speed. Uh, but everything else, he's higher. 86 blocks are way higher. Uh, strength, he's actually lower, which is weird. But uh, yeah, so finesse move, power move, if he has to hit power higher. So we're, we're gonna be switching back and forth between both of those cards, you know what I mean? Like, just to get a little idea of both. But um, yeah, so going right into the next one, let's go ahead and look for a uh, left outside linebacker, which we do know we're gonna get. And a strong safety, I'm pretty sure I wanna get the Rodney Harrison, the, the full legend. Um, or maybe the 90 overall. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we are gonna see. Because the the full legend is about like 400k more. I think we're just gonna go with the 90 overall, Ronnie Harrison, and just um, obviously he's gonna go up to 90 zone coverage, which is in uh, 91 the threshold. But I mean, it's still I still think it's really good. So uh, uh, let's go ahead and look at the options for that. So switching over to offense, we're gonna pick up this uh, Jordan Reed 88 overall. 
180k I thought I'd pick him up because he's not too expensive 88, uh, 88 overall is pretty good um, I'm gonna go ahead and get Melvin Ingram as not Melvin Ingram uh, Evan Ingram as well I think he goes for about 40k should I'm pretty sure um, maybe more I'm not sure let's see uh, Giants Anyways, yeah, I just thought I'd pick him up because I was going to go with a, a, a big tight end, like a, a really expensive one, but there's really no point, honestly. 88 speed, huge right there. It's huge. And yeah, so 40k for this Evan Ingram right there. Let's go ahead and put these two in our lineup and pretty much complete our offense unless we want to upgrade that right tackle position, which isn't, uh, which I'm not sure if I really want to upgrade yet because I don't know if it's a necessity considering at 87 overall, it's kind of not too low you know what i mean like i feel like i you don't need to upgrade that it's not a necessity but uh so we're putting uh jordan reed right there and then evan ingram right there and then our last one we'll just leave um i'm probably gonna leave it on uh probably just keep keep it uh with the zach roots I need to buy a run, a really uh, good run blocking tight end. There it is, 89 overall goes up to with I'm guessing, what is it? Uh, I'll go deep tier one. So yeah, that's pretty solid at 89 overall. Uh, I probably am gonna upgrade this right tackle maybe to uh, Marcus Cannon or something like that. And then uh, our off, our offense looks pretty solid already. Our defense looks uh, looks okay. But um, the Paul Krause is probably the best player right now. Um, and then we need Paul Pasolini. And then uh, I'm debating on the, the strong safety still. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with uh, the full legend or the regular legend. I'm kind of just stuck in the middle. Our corners, I don't mind. I still don't mind Deion Sanders. He still plays good for me. Um, the only thing is maybe looking to upgrade this D tackle number two position. And yeah, that's the only thing though. But uh, other than that, offense looks solid. I probably am just going to upgrade this Marcus Gilbert. Um, but we will see. So uh, once again, be right back. So Paul Puzlesny is right here, 330k, 80 speed. He has that 91 zone, that 91 play wreck, play wreck, play wreck. <laughs> the 90 zone, 90 play wreck. And uh, there he is, 91 overall Paul Puzlesny. So we do have 864k left. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, so my offense is good. That's for sure done. Uh, my defense is pretty much done too. I bought this Mo Blunt just for another position thing. Uh, we're going to put our Paul Puzlesny in right here. Can we go up to 90, 89 overall, I mean? Uh, no, we do not. But Paul Puzlesny is right there. 91, 90, 88, and 89 right there. So the only thing we have left that's holding us down is this uh, Ronnie Lott. So I, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to get the... Uh, oh, look, and Mean Joker goes up to 87. Um, I think I'm going to get the um, Ronnie Harrison full legend. And what I think I'm going to do after that... I think I'll have enough coins to get a better left end because I'm already looking at it and he kind of just doesn't look right here. He looks really low rated. Or uh, maybe even a corner, honestly, because I like Deion Sanders, don't get me wrong, but uh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and look. Let's go ahead and look at this together. Um, so I think what I'm looking at here is either a 91 zone corner or a, uh, a 91 zone Rodney Harrison full legend. So let's go ahead and go to 90 to 91 on the... Uh, cornerbacks right here um yeah most of the time i do this stuff off the camera but let's go ahead and look at this stuff together right here so obviously we have the richard sherman we got him for 290 um the other 91 zone corner i'm only gonna get it if he's 91 zone too there's a keep to leave he is uh 85 speed uh 92 zone coverage 85 speed is a little slow i kind of want somebody fast this time uh there's this terrence newman he's only 86 speed 94 zone though and not too bad as well and this Chris Harris is still kind of down in price he's not too expensive right now uh, 615k 87 speed 90 zone coverage obviously he can go up to that 91 zone and uh, he already has 91 play rack I'm thinking about getting this Chris Harris honestly he looks kind of good not too expensive right now uh, 90 overall card I went down too low but uh, not too bad honestly uh, let's go to the 92 93s um, there's also a uh, Casey Hayward, 88 speed, 92 zone coverage, 92 play rec. Also looks pretty good too. Mo Blunt's obviously out of the question. He's uh, way too uh, expensive. So is Ronnie Barber, way too expensive. Um, let's go ahead and look at safeties one more time. 
because we are paying either 90 or you're paying 600k for a uh, a uh, 90 overall corner or 550k for a 92 overall um, Rodney Harrison with the full legend 88 speed 92 zone coverage uh, 90 play rack 92 hit power so I think what I'm gonna do is because looking at the other options, I already have a corner that I, uh, that I like. You know what I mean? The only a lot, uh, uh, the only other option that I like for strong safety would obviously be this regular Ronnie Harrison, the nine, that's 90 overall with 89 zone coverage. I think we'll go up to 90. Um. So if we buy this Rodney Harrison, 326k, taking that out of that, it's 530k left. So we still won't have enough for Chris Harris anyway. The only way we have enough for Chris Harris is if we get somebody like Eric Berry, um, who has 89 zone coverage as well. But um, if I get this Rodney Harrison, I'd probably not buy a corner. I'd probably upgrade my left end to I'm not sure who, but uh. Yeah, obviously I fucking want this Ed Reed so badly too. 1.3 mil, so it's too expensive for that. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get the the full legend Ronnie Harrison. The only ones that are up though are toughness and uh, strength, or the strength one, for a physical front. The toughness does nothing for him, obviously. The only reason I'd even want a chemistry is to like, uh, um, just get it overall higher. But other than that, I don't really need it because he already has pretty much most of the stats that, you, that you'd want. Uh, 92 zone coverage obviously uh, only has 90 play rack, which I don't know if, what the threshold is for play rack. but um, You know, what? so now I think this is where I'm gonna take a break and look at things and we'll see how uh, everything is All right guys, so we have come to a conclusion. I Know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head, go ahead and get the 90 overall um, Strong safety Rodney Harrison, but I'm also gonna get um, the 91 overall corner cornerback for uh the Steelers Rod Woodson the legend so that will be able to bring both of them to uh it should be able to bring them both to 91 zone coverage so here he is right here it's going to go to team just in case there's somebody cheaper which I doubt there is but um all right so apparently none are on there I think it's a is that a Patriots card it is I think it is huh yeah Patriots card 326k 89 zone coverage if we get up him up to tier 2 reading rack which I think we can do He'll go up uh, to a uh, 91 zone. So we're going to go ahead and get this card right here, 326K. So we have that Rodney Harrison right there. I'm not sure. I might maybe look into getting the Twitch Prime version. So I don't know. I'll have to spend those coins later. But uh, we'll see. So for now, we're going to go ahead and get them. And then on the other side, uh, cornerback, Steelers. Um, he has a corner. So I'll just going to change that. And right here, for Rod Woodson going for 384k which is not too bad um and he has like you can see there 89 zone coverage as well we want to get him to 91 so we still have 154k left which if we sell um if we wanted to we can sell uh what's his name uh, bosa and get somebody better to combine that together but uh for now we're not gonna do that so let's go ahead and put uh how many okay so we do have three of those all right so I'm not sure if we're gonna even leave. I think we might demote Deion Sanders all the way down to cornerback number four, honestly. I don't know if that takes out his re his return man uh, specialist thing, but um, pretty soon um, they said they're gonna release uh, GOATs, more uh, upgrades for that. Yeah, he loses the kick return when he's not there, but I mean, we can't really do anything about that because we need him. We need these other characters. These other <laughs> cornerbacks, I don't know what I keep saying characters, these other cornerbacks to get up to 90 zone, 91 zone so that the chemistry works for them. So we have 92 Rod Woodson, 92 Richard Sherman, uh, and then we're gonna put in this uh, Rodney Harrison, who is a 90 overall, hopefully goes up to 91. Uh, my lineup already consists of Rodney Harrison, so then we get rid of the the little 75 overall and how to use these cards because um, I didn't have any uh, other option to use for like solo challenges, things of that matter. So we're gonna go with this 90 overall Rodney Harrison. We do not go up to 89 overall, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, Ronnie Harrison right there, 90 overall. So we have one, two, three, four. Oh, you can see right there, six. We need one more reading react chemistry. So what we're going to do is, huh, let's see. Because I do, let me see here. 
Well, I don't know how much if it takes my overall down if I move Zach Brown. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and put somebody random. Let's put uh, Anthony Barr there. Okay, so it doesn't. So there is that Jared Dave. Actually, let me put a really low rated card to see if it really brings it down that hard. So let's go ahead and put somebody like, no, not this one. We can't. Like, uh, all right, so it doesn't. We stay at 88 overall. So if I can get that Jared Davis, that middle linebacker number two, I can go ahead and sell this Mel Blunt, put Deion Sanders back here at the uh, cornerback number three. That'll give them two more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave Zach Brown there. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, Anthony Barr here. And then, um, let's see, let's go put Anthony Barr over here as, actually, no, let's leave him there. Um, I'm going to put Zach Brown there. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we probably are going to put Zach Brown there. Let's go ahead and put uh, Shaq Thompson over here. Actually, no, we're going to have to move this down because I don't want Anthony Barr to be coming in on kickoff. So let's go ahead and put... Uh, in there like I said okay nice and then we're gonna put um, Zach Brown right here so that'll be easier sub like that okay and then we, we're probably gonna switch off between these two see how both of them play um, obviously this one this one was free this one wasn't but we need this one for the chemistry um, so if I get that Jared Davis I'm gonna go ahead and uh, it's gonna be a 78 overall, I believe, and he's gonna go. Uh, he's gonna give reading react tier two. I'm not sure how much he goes for, considering he gives he has a uh, times two reading react. He probably goes for like a little more than a 78. I think 78, 78 overall goals should go for. So let's go to 75, 79. Let's go to tight middle linebacker, and uh, chemistry. Read and react. Where is this card at? Also, oh, there he is. He goes for about 9k, which is actually not too bad. And pretty soon, I'm gonna finish the uh, the um, the chemistry solos. I haven't finished them. I've just been lagging on doing that. I'll probably just do that so I can go up to 80 overall. So I don't have a 78 overall gold in my lineup. But uh, so with that, we are gonna be able to sell um, Mel Blunt and uh, bring Deion Sanders back into our lineup so that he can get that. Um, that high or like return man chemistry back so we're here 74 overall it's not it's really lower than what we have right here so we're gonna put where is this card at that nice color pink into there does Rodney Harrison go up to 91 no he does not uh Paul Krause does go up to 90 um yeah so that looks pretty good and we have that tier three zone coverage so we get two zone coverage to all our, all our players with read and react so Ronnie Harrison is currently at 91 zone coverage 91 pursuit Paul Krause is at 92 zone coverage, 92 play rec, looking good. And then Rod Woodson is at 91 zone coverage, nice. And he only has, I think he has pretty, he has 86 play rec, which isn't uh, amazing, but it's still good for how uh, cheap he was for actually a full legend. So that's good. Our top cards looks like it's gonna be Richard Sherman, Rod Woodson, probably Paul Postlesny, it looks like, yeah. So that's not too bad. Uh, we didn't spend anything, any cards over like 600. I think over, I think what was the max highest card we spent? I think the most expensive card we got was like, I don't think we spent anything over 400K. It seems like, I think every card is pretty even, evenly priced. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move uh, this Mel Blunt out of the way for our Deion Sanders back into the lineup. And then we're gonna go ahead and sell that Mel Blunt. Probably sell this Joey Bosa. Let's go ahead and actually I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and look at this stuff. So what I did was I sold Amari Cooper. I'm gonna buy this 91 overall Dwight Clark. Um, 330k, not bad at all uh, for 91 overall. I was looking at him between him or uh, Chris Carter. Uh, they're I don't know. Chris Carter. Chris Carter is good too. But I just wanted this Dwight Clark. Obviously, but Chris Carter would be a full legend. But they're the same overall. You know what I mean? So what we're gonna do is he's one overall higher than uh, Mar Cooper. So I think what I'm gonna do is so now I have Mar Cooper there. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and look for a. Uh, I'm gonna remove this Dwight Clark out of the way. All right, so we did sell the uh, fullback to get enough coins, but actually one came down to 45k anyway, so we saved a couple thousand coins right there. We're gonna buy this Andy Lee, put this final card in our lineup, 
and that'll be it for the video so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think of it comment i love getting comments it's, I think it's the best thing i like that better than anything but uh cause i like talking with you guys and things like that but um yeah just let me know what you guys want to see in the future and more gameplay coming in the future more reviews now that we have a team back now we have actually things to play with we have reviews coming and yeah so i uh, hope you guys like the video like comment subscribe um and yeah guys just hope you guys are having a nice rest of your day hope your packs are as good as the best <laughs> and uh no yeah my pack sucks but i hope you guys are by hope you guys packs are better than mine but yeah i hope you guys like the video like comment subscribe see you guys all in the next video